YouTube, what's up, man? Look, check it. Yo, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real hood street type of nigga, like, right? Um, right now, like, something's on my mind. I mean, like, you ever heard about when somebody say, yo, I gotta take a shit, and then they go take a shit, and, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's like, you have your greatest, like, moments and thoughts about something, but, um, something I wanna get to, you know what I'm saying? Um, I know I missed a video on the, on the five great producers or whatever like that, 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 that I feel that motherfuckers wanna get it cross, but that's another story, but, um, anyway, yeah, nigga keeping it real, taking shit, hood nigga shit, you know what I'm saying, like, and, you know, point intended too, nigga, what? But anyway, like, um, I see these days, like, bro, like, you know, I, I like, I'm the type of dude, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a real nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, I did 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all can probably nick it on up and them type of, type of shit like that, but there wasn't no fuck nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? I was still cars and shit, you know what I'm saying? Sell them or whatever like that, you know what I'm saying? I really want no type of drug dealer type of nigga, because I didn't really want to pull off like that, you know, I didn't want, you know, I, I just wasn't feeling that shit, you know what I'm saying? I was on some Fast and Furious type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, that's just me, everybody got their thing, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, uh, but like, I only been out like like a like couple of years or whatever like that after doing a dime. And um, <coughs> my cousin said something to me. He said, uh, he's my favorite cousin, but we can never get along. But my favorite, cause everybody got somebody that, that's that, 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 that you love the devil, but it just, shit, it just don't, it don't ever click. Like 10 minutes later, y'all want some other shit. 10 minutes before that, like yo, like yo, like you would rather have nobody to hang with but that person. But getting back to what I'm saying, right? Um, he was like, yo, and I'm a romantic type of dude, you know what I'm saying? I'm old school, you know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, you know, you ain't got to put no, 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 no green tip on my bullshit because, like, you ain't got to put my call on nothing. So if you're trying to dig up on this nigga, you know, <laughs> nigga, ask me. Ask me. Straight up, bro. Ask me. I ain't got no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to pull nothing up on me. But anyway, get back to what I'm saying, like, but. He said to me, he said, bruh, them hoes don't want no, 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 out to eat and take them there and take them there. Like, he's like, yo, bruh, they want you cheating like shit. And when I say shit, he said, got teeth in my mouth. I embrace that shit, nigga. Like, yo, like, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I like, like you know what I'm saying? Because he's like, I know how the way you is. You know what I'm saying? And I was brought up that way because. You know, I mean, I got a stepdad and shit, but, you know, to him and my mama go through some bullshit and put his hands on my mama, I mean, you know, I'm, I ain't put dev on that shit. I just y'all motherfuckers diggers with the shovels find that on out, because that's what I call y'all, the niggas be trying to live for dirt. I call you diggers. I can't call you gold diggers, because you ain't even got paid for the shit. You just want to sit and go down, all fucked up in the game, so. But anyway, God damn it, he was right. He was motherfucking right. Like, bam, like, I try to go on that love and devil shit. These days, girls don't want boyfriends. Girls want daddies. That's it, plain and simple. Like, you know, I, I, I got a saying that I put out myself and I said, um, I said to myself, I say, you know how people like say, like, and I want y'all to really like make like this sink in, especially you females, like, cause I'm thinking it from y'all level. Now, I ain't no punk or no faggots. Don't get me fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I, sometimes y'all might hear my voice inflection or whatnot. I mean, shit, even Mike had that. He still whooped that goddamn ass. So don't get that shit fucked up, nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's just the way I talk. You know what I'm saying? That's God given. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I don't look at it as a hindrance. I look at it as a, you know what I'm saying? It's a plus. You know what I'm saying? Because it can get on all, all levels. You know? And maybe a Georgianist voice. Well, it's straight hood here. Yeah, it's in a little. It's straight hood here. Yeah. But anyway, uh, people say that sons need their fathers. But damn. Like, how you gonna exclude the girls? Like, girls need their daddies twice as more. That's my saying. Girls need the girls need their daddies twice as more. Because they don't have a template. For those who don't know what a template is, that's like when you make a resume or whatever, you get on the computer and you try to find something that you can copy off of and it's like, it's like plagiarism, but you're putting your own little shit to it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a, like, it's like a starter kit. You know what I'm saying? And um, it got to that point. You know what I'm saying? Because girls can't identify 
I can say about 75% can identify what a man that really posed, a man supposed to be. You know? Because now we get to the point that, you know, we give our four and three year old girls some fucking, and even boys, we just give them a tablet, Wi Fi, huh? Catch that. And get the fuck out of my face. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I know y'all might see with these headphones or whatever like that. That's my signature. You know what I'm saying? That's my live and direct. You know what I'm saying? That's like me going all the way to y'all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's a portal. But, um, uh, girls don't want boyfriends no more. Girls want daddies, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they do understand they go for the older. And hold up. And I'm going to take up for y'all girls on that. It ain't always about money. It's about, it's more about discipline. It's more about, like, some girls like, like the dudes be like, yo, oh, damn. Like, you know, the good niggas, and they be like, yo, yo, you got that nigga hit all over you and do all this and beat your ass, pull your money. But it's the, the, it's the discipline of being corrected to be a better person. It's like being a martyr for a cause that they think that is good, but from the outside, looking in, bitch, that's it bad. Who fault is that? It's ours as fathers, you know? It was ours as uncles, ours as cousins, ours as whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like if you see some shit, like back in the day, if you see some real own shit, you can wreck that shit, put them in their place, you know what I'm saying? You check that shit. Hold up. You check that shit. Hold on, I'm do it again. You check that shit. But I guess, I mean, we so much into ourselves these days or whatever like that, or, you know, the thing between our legs, it, it gets so caught up, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't think about that shit, you know what I'm saying? Or we think about our money and the cars and, but you know the number one thing we think about? I'm gonna shit on this nigga with the fuck I just got. I'm gonna have this girl do whatever, this, that, and the third. Because, I mean, you got, don't think about it. Now, it's not even about age, bro. Like, you got 47, 57. And when I say this, I'm talking about 12 on up. And when I say 12 on up, I'm not talking about no pedophile shit, so don't get me all fucked up. But when I say that, I'm talking about when the mind start becoming a personality. This is the well as a little boy. The mind becomes a personality. I read the saying one time that says, uh, we all junior high minds just trying to get through life, trying to figure out if we ever make it to adulthood. That was some real ass shit. Straight up, bro. Like, damn, like, we still, like, you got, like, like you got to say, like, 95% of the world is still a junior high mind. It is because something traumatic happened, something crazy happened, something, something that just arrested the development. And, um, like, I guess, like, it's, it's just on replay, you know? But, um, those girls, like, I'm not mad at a girl being a hoe and a girl being a bitch and everything. The pussy thing, like, that's not really what y'all think that really is. It's not really is. I mean, I know I might be raw right now. I don't even know if this is going to get pulled and, and be uploaded or nothing like that. I don't know. But it should be because it's just real. It's just real shit. I ain't going to say real nigga shit. I'm going to say this real shit because it touches all lives from all type of ethnicities. Period. From here to Australia. From here to Tanzania. You know, so for those who know their geography. If you don't, shit, we got this thing called Google. Call at it, bro. Call at it, sis. Straight up. But anyway, um, that's a new thing now, you know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of left our girls to the point that, you know, we don't even think about them looking up, looking them ready for, I mean, I got all twisted. That's that Southern in me. You know, we have so much shit we want to say that we start, our mouth start, our tongues just start twisting and we can't even get it all out. So, you know, forgive me. But, uh, you know, since we to this era of like girls don't want boyfriends to be daddy, so my thing is if you're gonna you know be there or whatever like that, and she knows she's your dad, be trustworthy enough and lead them you know lead them girls to the right direction or whatnot like that. But yeah, always be truthful that you're not their daddy because you know things get crazy. You know we got bipolar this, bipolar that, and all that kind of crazy stuff that goes on. But 
you know, I don't blame y'all. You know what I'm saying? You know, we did it. You know, we, we did it as fathers. You know what I'm saying? Not not doing that and being there. But like, um, if y'all want anything to say to me, I got I'm all ears. I give you my time. Straight up, I give you my time, 100. No problem. No problem. But just, um, got any comments about this? Like I told you in my earlier, like, I don't care about likes and no likes or whatever like that. It's, it's not even about that. That shit, this shit's way bigger than that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's global. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't need that, man. Huh? I don't need that. That if anybody hit this page that you a female and need somebody to talk to about something, you know, I, I can drop my knowledge on you and, and lead you in the right direction or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's no ulterior motives. You know, I got two little girls myself. You know what I'm saying? There's one of them right here. That's a Leah. It's one of them right there. That's a Zaya. It says, on everything I love. I meant that. Now, I ain't gonna lie to you. Have I been the greatest father? No, I haven't. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things I can do better. But they ain't teenagers yet, so Lord willing, I could, I could tighten it up even a little bit more. But, um, well, you know, just, it, and the thing about it is, it ain't gonna change because the damage is already done. As far as what I'm saying is, girls ain't nigga for boyfriends, nigga for dads. So, my brothers, I'm just saying to step up, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it. You know, I'm going to end it with this. We ain't for to do this. We ain't for to do this. So at the end of what I'm trying to say is, just be there, man. That's all you can do. Sometimes you ain't got to say shit. You just, just shut the fuck up and just let, let the motherfucker just dump all that shit on out. You know what I'm saying? Because you know the a dumpster, you can't keep putting more trash in it. It's going to be on the ground. So, you know what I'm saying? So, let a motherfucker, you know, take the time out and let somebody empty out their dumpster right quick. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, it's like Andre 3000 said, I've been through some shit and I'm going to go through some more shit. So, let them dump that little dumpster out and so they can put some more trash and what they do and they can get that equilibrium, that, that, that balance level. You know what I'm saying? That balance level. I'm saying, because regardless of what, we can't let our little girls flatline. We can't let our woman flatline. We can't let the female gender flatline. White, black, or anything. I ain't even talking about that race shit. I don't do that. We can't let it flatline. Like I said, Charlotte, Cliff Frazier, North Carolina, Bank of America, two times. We ain't finna do this. My dudes.